Hello, everybody. Uh, ladies and gent gentlemen, uh, we are convinced that RRD will improve the health of all employees working with irregular working hours. 24-hour economy is all around us, as you will know. Uh, more than 25% of the Dutch population work, uh, works outside regular working hours, and uh, that has severe consequences for their health. On the short term, it will lead to fatigue, sleep loss, and performance decrement, but on the uh, on the uh, longer term, it will lead to uh, cardiovascular diseases, or at least it can lead to cardiovascular diseases, obesity, diabetes, and even cancer. This is caused by a disruption of the circadian rhythm. You can imagine all those diseases have an enormous effect on the healthcare system of the Netherlands and as well on the societal costs. In a company like KLM, the problem is e even bigger. More than 50% of the employees work outside their regular working hours. Um, take, for example, the pilots. They have long duty days. They fly during the night, and uh, they uh, experience frequent time zone crossings. Well, at the VU Medical Center, we uh, saw that, and we developed an app, an intervention, to help those pilots, those employees. We took all the available evidence we, there was in the uh, scientific lit literature. We put it in the app and translated it into practical and tailored advice on physical ac activity, exposure to light, sleep, uh, sleep and nutrition. Um, we uh, performed a study uh, on with 500 pilots during six months, and afterwards we looked at uh, what the effects are. At the moment, we have the preliminary results, and they are still uh, preliminary, pre preliminary, of course, but they are positive. So that's why we think that we have to take this idea further. And that's why we need the TEDx community. community. Uh, I need or we need excellent developers and scientists to take the app to the next level. And the next level I will show in the, in the video, which I will present here. We take pilot Leo as an example. He goes to Seoul, and when he arrives over there, it's already, it's already night in the Netherlands, but there, Sayu is wide awake. He arrives, he's fatigued, and he, he uh, consults the app. The app tells him to go to sleep, to go sleep right away. There's no problem, because Leo is fatigued. He, went, he goes to sleep, but the app um, awakes him quite soon, because he has to stick to the Dutch rhythm. There was some sound here, but okay. <laughs> uh, next, when he wakes up, he, he looks at what, it, what the app tells him to go uh, to eat. For instance, a protein lunch. The app has, has a G GPS function, so it tells him where to go. It has a social function, so he can even see what his colleagues recommend to eat over there. The app tells uh, Leo to be active as well. And with the motion sensor, his performances are compared to certain colleagues. It is uh, shown in his biorhythm graph what his activities were and what they are going to be. And this data uses, the, the app uses this data to tell him when it's time to go to sleep again and when it's time to wake up again. It can even help him to wake up with the use of bright light. In the end, Leo arrives in Amsterdam again, safe and sound, no jet lag symptoms, no performance decrement. decrement. And these are only just a few examples of what the app can do, or the new and improved app can do. Um, we are convinced that this app is an effective and cost-efficient way to improve the health of many, many, many employees. In the Netherlands, for instance, firemen, policemen, doctors, nurses, lawyers, you, can, you name it, all, uh, a lot of people can benefit. And then we're only talking about the Netherlands. Thank you very much.